Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up Remote Desktop in Windows Vista. So first what you do is you go over to Start and then you click on Control Panel. From there you type in uh, Remote and you click on the first thing which says allow, allow Remote Access to your computer. And then you click the uh, User Account Control uh, box. I know you can't see this but that's just security for you. So then here you have two options. You can allow um, connections from older versions of remote desktop or only the latest. Um, if you need to connect from out of date XP machines uh, like I do, then you should choose the less secure one because it has greater compatibility. Um, otherwise you should just use uh, this third one. Now here's something. is My computer is set to sleep um, after a certain amount of time. So this window popped up telling me that and has a link to power options and I should change from balance to high performance because as you can see in the settings it says uh, it never puts the computer to sleep. So close that and press OK and OK. And so now, now what I can do is I can uh, connect remotely but only from inside my network because uh, if I were to connect from somewhere on the internet and put in my IP address it would have no idea uh, which computer I would want to use. So because of that I'm going to change some settings in my router. So first I need to find the IP address of my router. Uh, I already know what it is but I'll go through the process of figuring it out. So you go in, you're still in control panel, type in network Oopsies. Oh, well, I spelled it wrong, but here it is. Uh, and then you click on the Network and Sharing Center. And then I have I have two um, network devices, but usually you only have one. So just uh, click View Status on one of those. And then click Details. And then here's the IP address of my router, which is uh, IPv4 default gateway. Eventually it'll be uh, IPv6, but uh, that's down the road. and the, Anyway, let's not even get into that. So here's uh, the IP address. So open up uh, your your internet browser and go to uh, that IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.1.1. And then put in the password. Uh, the default password for my Linksys router is admin, but I changed that. And then so log into that. And then go in link in the Linksys router. You click on Applications and Gaming. And then, let's get rid of that. Uh, then you can put in uh, what? Remote desktop desk. Uh, just to remind you, and the port that it uses is 3389 uh, to 3389. And you just, I don't know where I found that out. It was probably in the Windows help. And now you need to know your local IP address. So to do that, you go back to this. Uh, um, network connection details and you click on uh, IPv4 address and it's blah 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 104 so uh, that's what it is ah crap oh well I'll fuzz that out so 104 uh, and then enable so now if the router gets any um, calls to this port it'll forward them to my computer uh, so click save settings and then, yeah, okay. And then uh, you need to find out your IP address. So I j just go to ipchicken.com, and it's it's li your IP address is listed in bold on the front page, but I'm not going to go to that because uh, I don't want you to know my IP address. Sorry. So um, alternatively, what you can do if you don't want to remember your IP address is go to dyndns.com uh, and set up uh, an account. And so you can end up going to like uh, you know, my name dot dynes dot com instead of your IP address. So now I'm going to show you what remote desktop looks like. So you go to start and you type in remote desktop, yeah. And then uh, instead of going to this computer, I'm just going to go to a different computer on my network since obviously I can't connect to myself. So the name, the well, the Windows name, uh, network name of that computer is David Tablet. Uh, and so you can put in uh, the Windows network name if it's on your local network. You can put in the local IP address, 
the public IP address um, or the website it's it's connected to. And so I'm going to go into options and change some stuff. I want the window to be kind of smallish, and my experience I want to be super fast with everything checked. So then you click uh, connect, and then it already knows that I'm trying to connect to the David account. So I'll go to uh, my password, which I'm not going to tell you. Haha. -ha. And then do ba do ba do. You can see it's connecting. Has this little animation thing. Okay, so here's the window. Uh, oh, and here you can see on the laptop it just signed me out right there. I mean, it didn't sign me out, but it locked the computer. Okay, so then I have the computer right here. You, you notice it even has arrow. Um, that is because this computer is uh, Vista based and uh, has arrow enabled. Um, interestingly, I, I can't get arrow on the laptop, but through remote desktop I can. So you see it's, it's arrow, it's nice, whatever. Um, yeah, that's, that's really it. So if I wanted to go, um, okay, so that's, that's that. So say I got a DynDNS.com account and I wanted it to be uh, uh, always MC2 dot dynes.com. So what I would do is I'd open up remote desktop connection. I would say uh, always mc2 dot dynes.com, and there you go. Uh, it would bring me to uh, that would connect me to my computer. Uh, things to look out for: um, you need to make sure that the IP address uh, that it, this is following is your latest IP address because it does change sometimes depending on your provider. Um, that's that's really it. What I well what I do is actually is I bought um, a domain just because it's a .com, and I told and I set that to my uh, my network's IP address, public IP address, so I can just type that in, you know, uh, Bob Joe. At uh, dot com, you know, because that's just nice, and it's like ten dollars a year, or whatever. Um, so that's remote desktop. It's pretty nifty. Yeah.